It's no secret that property taxes are one of the most hated taxes. Even after you've paid for a piece of property in full, the taxes continue, making some people feel like they're renting their homes from the government in perpetuity. A key problem with this scenario is how property taxes inevitably increase over time. When a person takes out a loan to buy a home, usually the mortgage payment stays flat, but the property taxes continue going up. And of course, when a person finishes paying that 30-year loan, property taxes continue to be owed. The earning potential for an individual in the middle of their career is much different than that of an older person who has been retired since, say, their mid-60s. Income drops and becomes fixed instead of steadily increasing. This leads to homeowners who are house rich and cash poor. And this is where the property taxes begin to really take their toll. Two policies we've been studying here at Libertas involve what's called a deferral and updating something called the Circuit Breaker Program. Counties in Utah currently have several different tools they can use to provide property tax relief for renters and homeowners who qualify. These include exemptions for members of the military, people who are legally blind, and low-income residents. This is where the Circuit Breaker Program comes into play. If you are at least 66 years old and your household income is less than $34,000, you can receive a small tax credit. The problem is that as property values have steadily increased in the past decade, the real value of the relief from the Circuit Breaker Program has decreased. Just this year, legislation was proposed which would have increased the thresholds and credit amounts, but the language was amended out. We believe that this issue should be reconsidered next year. Along with improvement of the Circuit Breaker Program, Utah should study increasing the use of property tax deferrals. When a county defers any or all property taxes, they continue to assess the taxes, but the bill won't come due until the home is later sold or ownership changes. Interest accrues on the amount owed annually, but there is no additional penalty. How would we use this to help seniors? Here is the option we want to see made available. Once a homeowner reaches a certain age, say 65 or 66, and if the value of your property is less than $500,000 or some other amount, they can request that the county defer their property taxes. Instead of paying each year, the homeowner basically has a lien placed on their home and the property taxes come due with interest whenever the home is sold or ownership is transferred. This helps homeowners avoid having to move or sell their home because of the strain of property taxes. When the home is sold or given to heirs, the payment of property taxes becomes part of the transaction. It isn't hard to see the similarities between a deferral and a reverse mortgage program. But seniors are often reluctant to engage in a reverse mortgage because they significantly eat into the equity of their property, unlike a property tax deferral. The equity that a homeowner has already built up would not be compromised in most cases by a deferral because inflation and property value increases will usually outpace the amount of property tax that would accrue over the life of the deferral. Counties in Utah are already authorized to use deferrals for property owners who are indigent. But at their own discretion, Utah should consider making deferrals available for anyone who meets the agreed upon requirements. You could argue this is a better solution than simply freezing property taxes or eliminating property taxes for seniors, since all other property owners don't have to bear the weight of supporting someone who no longer pays their share of the property tax. Exemptions don't typically lead to less revenue for government. It just shifts the overall burden to other property owners. In the end, a deferral doesn't subsidize anyone, but allows seniors to stay in the home they work so hard to purchase and pay off. Here at Libertas Institute, we'd like to encourage the Utah Legislature to study these property tax solutions that would help seniors enjoy their hard-earned property in the twilight of their lives, especially in these uncertain times. We believe that by working with all the stakeholders involved, we can find a way to make the numbers work for local taxing entities without creating an undue burden on those who would oversee these programs. For Libertas Institute, I'm Michael Melendez.